Hello crafty friends, I'm Lynn from Studio Gato and I'm so happy to be back with another video for Jane's Doodles. Now this is not the only video I am posting today. I have a new release roundup up on the Jane's Doodles channel as well as another tutorial also on the Jane's Doodles YouTube channel. So I will link both in the description below and in the first video you can see all of the new products that are going to be, re be released today. Um, but I am working now with the Happy Christmas stamp set from Jane Soodles and the Drops stencil. Both of them are new items and they are available right now and you can get uh, free shipping all weekend. So now is the time to get them. There is also a blog hub going on. I will link that in the description below as well as usual for these new releases. There are going to be a lot of links in the description. So check them out because the blog hub also has a giveaway. The winner will get um, one stamp set of their choice free of charge. Uh, it's open worldwide. And um, yeah, I hope you win. So <laughs> you all you have to do is comment on each stop of the hop. Um, not on this video. This video isn't part of the hop. It's just promoting it, I guess. <laughs> so make sure you go over to, to my blog post and hop along there to get a chance to win that stamp set. Now I'm just coloring these stamps. Um, the ones I'm coloring right now are all from the uh, Happy Christmas stamp set. Uh, and I'm going to make two cards from this. Now, uh, all of the other images you see are also newly released stamp sets, but the cards will arrive later on YouTube. So I hope you check those videos out as well once they come out. Make sure you subscribe to be notified when I upload a new video. Now I'm doing some really simple coloring for these, but I think the coloring on the little camper is really interesting because I experimented a little bit with you, when you have those little Christmas lights, I always like to go outside of the lines intentionally and make the surrounding area a little bit of the shade of those Christmas lights. Now I just colored them in yellow, but I do rainbow uh, all the time usually. Um, but it's actually really cool if you experiment with your alcohol markers. If you go over a darker area, so in this case the red, uh, with a lighter marker, it will sort of bleach the area a little bit. Now you do have to repeat this a couple of times to get a good effect, but if you just go over the red area with a yellow, a light yellow marker, you can um, give the illusion that the lights are actually casting a glow over that red area. It's really easy to do. It's even easier if the surrounding uh, coloring is lighter than the yellow because you don't have to go through the process of bleaching the color away. You can just color once and be done with it. Um, but it goes really well over a darker color too. So it might stain your marker a little bit, the yellow marker, but if you just go um, scribble on some scrap cardstock, it will get rid of that red. So it's really easy to clean up your markers that way. Now for my background, I am using that drops stencil as if it's snow. So these are very big snowflakes, but I really like the graphic look of the big dots actually. I am stenciling this onto light blue cardstock with Hero Arts white pigment ink and I actually put a homemade stencil underneath it to get that snow globe effect or well snow globe you know just a little frame around my stenciling and I did line up the stencil to make sure as much dots as possible were touching that line because the more dots you have that cross over the line of your snow globe stencil. I just die get that out with a basic die. Um, the more obvious the framing is going to be. So I will show that again for the second card as well. But just make sure you have a couple of dots that are going over that outline. I'm stamping a sentiment from the Happy Christmas stamp set onto red cardstock with Versamark ink and embossing that with white. Uh, embossing powder and once that's heat set I die cut that out with a sentiment strip die and I am propping it up onto some foam tape. This is foam tape that I have doubled up 
Um, and if you do that before cutting, it's actually really easy to cut because you have release paper on both sides of the foam tape. I am going to do the same for the camper van and I'm going to prop that up onto some foam tape as well. The, um, obviously I had some trouble lining up that sentiment. I always have trouble lining things up. Usually I cut it out of the video. Um, but yeah, I, I always fuss around with my elements a lot before I'm happy with how they are. I made sure to uh, put both elements, so the sentiment strip and the camper van, a little outside of the frame because I just like that look. Now for my second card, I again made one of those homemade stencils. I just cut a basic shape die out of um, white paper. I do have, this paper actually is a little bit glossy on one side, so it is perfect for stenciling, but it really doesn't have to be, especially with a stencil like this. Um, there's not a lot of overlap <laughs> with the dots and the paper. Now again, I try to line up as many dots as possible with the outline of that homemade stencil, so you can really see the shape of it once you're done stenciling. I do add a little bit of white pigment ink at the bottom to create some snow there as well. I did that for the first card too, I forgot to mention it. Um, and once I'm happy with that, I am going to add all of those little animals and uh, little gifts as well um, on my snow globe. And once I'm happy with the placement, I am going to get some purple tape over that to keep all of the elements in place while I add foam tape behind them. And that way I only have to line up, line them up once <laughs> this time. I only line them up now. I add some purple tape over them. Um, right now, this is just leftover from the stenciling. And uh, that way it holds all of my elements in place. I can add my little tiny pieces of foam tape behind them. Again, I doubled up the foam tape. This gives me extra dimension and it's easier to cut down. So I don't have to purchase um, foam squares anymore. I just do it with foam tape. And I'm doing the same for the little sentiment strip. I didn't show me stamping it again, but it's a Merry Christmas stamp from the, I think it's from the From Us stamp set from Jane's Doodles. Again, this released today, and I do have a little release uh, roundup up on the Jane's Doodles YouTube channel, so you can see all of the products there. And also I created projects with all of the stamp sets. There are a couple more projects that I show there, along with a full tutorial as well. Um, so check those out. Don't forget to participate in the blog hub. It's a really fun way to win a stamp set of your choice. And I wish you all the best <laughs> in uh, winning that giveaway. I hope you like the cards I made today. These are really simple. I didn't even add embellishments. I can't remember the last time I didn't add embellishments to a card. Um, but I really like how clean and simple they are. I hope you like them too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.